Hello everyone, welcome to So Aldo. On today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to make a simple pajama shorts. So if you want to see how, keep on watching. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Aldo and I make DIY, sewing, and style video. So if you like to watch those type of videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new video every Thursday at 9 o'clock in the morning, Central Time. Also, don't forget to hit the notification so you will get notified whenever I post a new one. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started! I will be using this pair of shorts that I made a few years ago. If you want to see that tutorial, I'm going to have the link in the description box below or at the end screen. But basically, I'm just going to turn it wrong side out and I will use it as my pattern. And this time, I am not going to add any elastic on the waistline. I'm going to be doing a flat, stretchy waistband. I'll be using this leftover fabric from a previous sewing tutorial. And it is about a quarter of a yard. I'm going to fold it like this. I am following the stretch, by the way, so I can easily get in and out of the shorts. And then I will place the shorts against the fold. And then I'm going to cut it out, adding about a quarter of an inch seam allowances on all three sides. And then I'm going to use this piece as my template. So the pieces are going to be exact. I'm going to mark this side right here. This is going to be the back piece of the shorts and I'm going to trim down the crotch seam. It's just to compensate for the curb on the back side of the shorts because our back is not flat, it is curvy. I will repeat the same steps on the other panel. Now it's time to join the inseams. So I'm just going to serge it. If you don't have a serger, you can use your regular sewing machine for this. It's totally fine. Open it up like this, making sure that the inseams are at the center so I can easily match the crotch seams. Going to insert this piece right here inside the leg hole of the other panel on the table and I'm going to match the inseams. Be sure that the right sides are facing. And then I'm going to pin it to secure. And now I am going to serge it. Like I said earlier, you can use your regular sewing machine for this project. You're just going to sew the U-shape right here and that is the crotch seam. Now it should look something like this. As you can see, it is a really cute pair of shorts. And by the way, this is not just pajama shorts. It could be summer shorts as well. Now it's time to make the waistband. So I just fold it like this. So the strip of fabric is going to be 4 inches wide. So I kind of fold it. So the waistband is just going to be a little under 2 inches. 
I'm sorry this one is cut off but I basically just measured my waistline and I made it half an inch shorter and if you are wondering this waistband is cut on a bias so it will be stretchy that's why I don't have to use any elastic for this project and then I'll go ahead and serge the short end of the waistband and then I went ahead and press it as well so I fold it like this and I'm going to quarter the waistband and the waistline of the shorts so I can easily match it And it's going to be normal if the waistband is shorter than the waistline of the shorts. You want it like that because we are going to stretch the waistband as we sew. Just be sure that you are serging or sewing three layers of fabrics. Now all what's left to do is finish the hemlines and the shorts is done. So this is the final product. I can't really try this on just because this is a pajama shorts and I don't wear shorts outside of my house. So yeah, so this is what it looks like. I absolutely love how it turned out and it doesn't have any elastic. It's very comfortable and it's also very, very cute. So if you are going to recreate this, um, this is not just a pajama shorts. You can actually use this or wear this outside if you wear shorts outside. I had mentioned earlier that this was a leftover fabric from a previous tutorial that I did. I'm going to post a picture right here. So that's it for today and I hope this video is helpful to you. I hope you are inspired. If you are looking for more inspiration on sewing projects that are for beginners, I'm going to have the playlist right here. I have over 200 sewing tutorials that you can enjoy. So feel free to check them out. Um, I hope it's going to be helpful to you as well and yeah don't forget to subscribe to my channel i post new video every thursday at nine o'clock in the morning central time also don't forget to hit the notification so you will get notified whenever i post a new one i will see you soon bye